Here in the Braille house. I'm gonna do lots of tricks for you guys watching right now. So we're here in the park. We're just getting started. The day's very fresh. The sun barely came up like a little while ago. It's morning time. It's, it's good. Got my skateboard. Got my filmer, Andrew, behind the lens holding YouTube. And uh, we have this little ledge here. And we were thinking, since we're filming parts, oh, I actually get there's a little smudge there on the. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, I need to, in I can't get it, but I need to invent microfiber. No, 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 get, get the smudge. Can you see it? I don't know. Dang, you're lucky I brushed my teeth, YouTube. Andrew, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> you could just be capping to YouTube. and. I mean, I do brush my teeth. I floss at least every day. I think that's day. worse. I think I made it worse. <laughs> let's, let's go fix that real quick. No, no, let's go. Now it's my turn. So like... Yeah. Terrible singing, terrible lens. It's still, it, okay, I'm not, I'm gonna forget about it. I was saying, you gotta floss, I try to floss every other day at least, cause your teeth are like plants, it's kinda crazy. Uh, they have roots and uh, they absorb nutrients through the surface, stuff like that. So if you floss, you're gonna have stronger plants and they won't fall out when you get old, so floss. Anyways, we've been, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even talking about anymore. We've been filming for street parts and today, I'm gonna be practicing for that. So I'm gonna basically do like a consistency test for myself. See how many tricks I can do on the manual pad ledge right here. I think we'll do like what, 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Good. So I'm sorry if I'm looking like the dude from Tales from the Crypt right now, but uh, I had a long day yesterday and I'm ready to start today. Oh, it's already 11.30. It's not that early. So we're gonna get 30 minutes on the clock on my iPhone 13 mini. And then I'm just gonna see how many tricks I can do on this. And uh, it's only us two right now because the, the boys are doing things in the back, but it'd be cool to see how many tricks, if somebody would count it. But uh, maybe yeah. I'll just keep a mental. Now, whoever leaves the right amount in the comments, yes, we'll give a little heart emoji. Let me think. No, because I want to give real prizes. We can give them a heart. No. What can I give them? I want to give some stuff away. I will, if you DM me, if you get the right answer first and you DM me on Instagram at Chris McNugget, I will send you a little crystal. I'll have Derek ship it out to you. Um, unless you live like in like Zimbabwe or somewhere real far away where maybe we can't ship there. But if you live like in a good place, you know, like, you know, like Mars or something, then like we'll send it to you and you'll get a free rock. I have a big collection. I love crystals. And if you get it right, you will also have one of my crystals. All right, I'm going to shut up and we're going to get started. I want one of your crystals. Dude, I have so many, it, I got you. No, wait, really? I was joking, but I really- No, I no, yeah, when I, when I was a kid, I would think I was in first or second grade, whenever we went to the library for school, I'd always get rocks on like geology and gemstones, and I learned all about them like really young. Dude, that's really cool. Yeah, in my hometown in Napomo, we have all these creeks and like foothills, mm -hmm. and I'd be like really young, like six, seven, just going through these creeks filled with spiders and like creatures and like just looking for quartz, and I've, can find I found so many cool stones I'm, I'm excited just talking about it all right so I have 30 minutes and five seconds and then I'm gonna leave this with you
Someone's gonna have a hard time counting. I know. It's good. It's good uh, arithmetic for you. Let's go with the, the manual and there's no back radio. That's gonna be a little tougher. A little more tough. That hurts my soul. Dang, you messed up. I was up. doing so. Is it good or well? Both. I'm doing both. part trick my mind was fixated on the second part of the trick and that made me fumble the foundation which was the first part of the trick which is the back 50 which as you can see I, my front truck missed because I was too worried about the future so stay in the present <laughs> I feel like the half cab nose manual shouldn't be that hard because I can half cab and I can nose manual pretty well but I either need to practice them way more or it's just like a hard trick. So like you always come in with like a new pair of sweatpants I feel like. Yeah. Where yeah. You, what, what would you like to know about did that? Did you just get did you just get those? Are those new? These like. These ones are not new I just uh I skated them a lot less than my other ones because I like darker colors, but you know, this makes me feel like I feel a little higher class in this color. I don't know. Maybe it looks like I have more money or something. What kind of, <laughs> where do you get them? Just like off Amazon? Or so something? I'm gonna be real with you guys. My grandparents bought me this pair and two other pairs, my gray ones, and uh, I love them. Like, you know when grandparents buy you clothes and they don't like, they just don't hit right? The sweats they got me hit right. So, <laughs> shout out my grandparents, Pop and Barb. Love you guys. Stay on the lookout for the McNug joggers dropping very soon. And by very soon, I mean, I don't know yet, but they're going to be here in the future. I'm, what was I trying? I'm oh, yeah. excited. Half cap nose man. Oh, yeah, half cap nose man. Yeah, leave in the comments below. What, what, if I had a McNug jogger, what would be your ideal style? What would they look like? Let me know. Yeah, and like what colorway? What colorway? What graphic? No graphic? One, one short leg, one long leg? Like, let me know what you think. That was really sick though. I didn't feel comfortable at all doing that trick, but I did it first try. So let me get a first try in the comments for that one. It looked good. I like it. Yeah, manual French shove looks cool. I felt like it's kind of weird though, because I feel like when you're popping a French shove, you really want the full pop. 
Yeah. And in your manual, you're getting like half a pop almost. Exactly, so. exactly. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Popping out of manual tricks, you only have, you have way less leverage because you're already balanced. So maybe one of my training things should be like practicing popping really good out of like manuals. Like just doing this, just like practicing that for like hours. I wonder if you, uh, if you get like really big wheels, like really, really big wheels, and then you're like in a manual, if it'll just feel like normal pop. If the Maybe. tail's long enough. It depends on if you ride small wheels and then go to big wheels. Yeah, yeah, if you ride small small wheels. The amount of like leeway and leverage would probably be drastic and then it would feel like normal. I don't know. And then you could just do like any trick out of manual that you could do normally. Like dragon flip? <laughs> yeah, it's like dragon flip. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're onto something I think though. No, I don't know. I think you are. I know that like loose trucks, like some people say it's a lot easier to balance in a manual with loose trucks. Because I think a lot of people think manual's just up and down on the nose, but yeah. it's also like toe and heel. Yeah, to me, as a manualer, I feel like loose trucks is harder. Really? Yeah. But then again, I have not been skating loose trucks for a long time. I actually just started skating loose, and I actually do really like it. So I haven't done enough research to be like, okay, that's facts, you know? But uh, shout out Silver, they actually were like, yo, like, we want to like give you all the money and free trucks, so here. All the money? Yeah, we don't talk about that. All the money and free I was trucks. like, give me 10K, I'll, I'll, I'll ride your trucks once. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally making that up. They did uh, reach out to me on Instagram, though. Uh, no money involved. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, we, we want to send you some trucks. Would you like to ride for us? I'm like, I've never skated silvers, ever. Send me a pair if I like them, then I'll think about it. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I really like these trucks so far. Yoshi Tannenbaum. Yeah, I like him, too. He's really good. Laser flip man. But yeah, they turn really well. They look pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing is, I think the kingpin could be adjusted a little bit. I asked them, I'm like, do you have any lower kingpins? And then I haven't checked my messages since. But I love silver. I think we may build a relationship. So without further ado, I forgot I'm supposed to keep skating and we're on a timer. Wow, it's only been almost 12 minutes. Oh. Let's get some flip in. I'll do a couple flip in manual stuff and then let's go back to the ledge because there's so many more ledge tricks that I haven't tapped into yet. So let's see how my kick whips look. graduate myself to the bigger box if you want to I'm warmed up a little bit and like this is not really like something you skate in the streets for a part but it's a good way to like get the, the brain going you know so we're gonna move over to this I know for a fact that pretty much 95% of the tricks I just did on that I can do on this so we're gonna continue with new tricks you're gonna do your flipping manuals on that one yeah easy, easy. You know what? I will demonstrate for you I will do the, the I'll redo the flip manual and flip nose manual on this but for you guys that are counting, trying to win the rock, do not add these because they've already been done. Do they add the quarter pipe tricks you've done? No. I didn't think about that. Well, well what if they're already like, okay, also, how are you going to know uh, if they're right or not? Yeah, because I'm not even counting. You're not counting. But you know what? <laughs> I will count them. Before the video goes up, I will know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and no, the quarter pipe tricks do not count because we are talking about legs. But like, what if they've already been this far in the video? We're almost like, seven, we're like 17 minutes in and then they're going to be like, oh, sh dang, I've been counting the quarter pipe tricks. Now oh. they have to recount minus the quarter pipe tricks. I'll tell you this. First of all, you should be notification squad. That way you know when the video is going up and you're ready to click that and be the first commenter. Also, everybody else is going to figure out the same thing at the same time as you. So it's kind of fair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody they're has, all, like, an advantage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're all going to know. Unless <laughs> they happen to click in the middle of the video and see, hear this sentence. Do quarter pipes tricks count? No. Dang it. Okay, good. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, <laughs> quarter pipe tricks do not count for this video for this rock contest. So. For this rock contest. <laughs> it is a rock Chris contest. Chris McNuggets rock contest. Yes. You know what? That's a new thing. 
Dude, I'm so hyped for Chris McNuggets Rock yeah. Contest. You know what? This contest rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you you make music or something, don't you? I do. I got bars. <laughs> I got <laughs> bars. No, I, I do drums. So I got rhythm. I know some rhythmic elements. You know, 16th triplets, 8th triplets, <laughs> all that good stuff. I saw in that Jubert video, the com one of the comments was, Chris got bars on the keyboard drums. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I do, man. I got fills. You do I have got, bars got... on the keyboard drums. I, I do. <laughs> Leave in the comments below if you want to hear me play music or something. I don't know. I play guitar, drums. I've been learning keys a lot, and that's been my favorite. Uh, I've been doing vocal stuff too. Um, I'm sure you couldn't tell off the intro, but I am, <laughs> my vocals are getting better, I promise. Uh, okay, let's get the mail, no mail, because you're not counting now. I'll try to flip it. Hey, that was sick. Anyways, we haven't done any smiths or tail slides. Now we have something that's smithable and tail slideable to a higher degree. We're gonna do that. I don't like front smiths that much. I'm scared of them, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I don't know, like... I feel like you got 5.0 so good, though. No, Smith's. Yeah, but Smith is just a dipped 5.0. You know, I never thought of that. <laughs> you just, I'll like... I'll tell you why. When I was learning Smith's when I, in my front yard, when I was... I think it was a freshman in high school. I was learning Smith's on a round roll, and one time, I got in, and I, like, lost balance, and I, the board slipped out, and I fell like this, and I landed like that. Bang! So I had this gash on my sternum. Really? Yeah. And That's so I stopped gnarly. doing Smith's because of that. Yeah, Smith is just 5-0, but you just dip it. I'm gonna try that right now. Five, I, I can 5-0. Hey, just leave her alone. That's all I gotta say. My girl, she's free now. She's free. Oh, look at the look at the inside. That's gangster. Oh. Came here with the with the drink on today. Bro. Like like my family wears what he has on the inside on the outside. Like that's what they wear. Just the top two buttoned up, you know, and then they have their feet like this, beanie like this, and they're just like. Oh, I could do that. Hey. That's how. That's my. One of those oh yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> You do. Gangster. You gangsta. Food. Yeah, I, my family's a bunch of foos, but uh, I, I don't know how I turned out so well. <laughs> Shout out my family. I love you guys. <laughs> All the foos in the barrio. back to regular and then we're moving on. We have eight minutes and 20 seconds left. All right, we got this. Yeah, I want to see a nose grind. Nose and a, grind? And a nose grind 180. I did the nose grinds already. Oh, you did, that's right. But right. I can do nose grind 180. So maybe I'll do back nose grind back 180 and then front nose grind front 180. Yeah. Nose grind 180, that's okay. the one I want to see. Sounds good, that's a good, good choice. Right you know what I realize now? Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember you doing nose oh, grind. Good. Now yeah. that you do it, it just reminded me. Oh, I've you seen that. You stepped your answer up though, you like the other 180s in there. I like it.
that's... try that one more time because I think I can do it better, but that's still counted for sure. I got some energy from that land. That's the coolest trick. It's such a good trick, but it's so interesting. Like when you get into it, you gotta like have your weight all weird. So you really gotta be good at nose grinds because sure you can ollie nose grind, be straight like that. When it comes to that trick, I'm getting in and I'm already like thinking about like I'm already like right here on my balance as I get into it. So it's like a lot can go wrong. You want to make sure you have your nose grinds dialed before you do that. If you're trying to grind like a long way, because a lot of people will just like bonk it, like kiss the rail. Yeah, I guess bonking it's like, easier. It's still difficult, For but sure. it's easier. Because like locking in, having the balance and control, and then spinning. But I guess like learning nose grind back 180 is like a leader into back nose blunts and stuff. Ooh, so I need to learn those. You know what? I was thinking Mo is really good at blunt stuff. So we always play like we don't always play, but when we play ledge skate. He always gets me letters on the blunt, so maybe I should try those right now. Front blunt, back blunt. I can back blunt, I just don't, I'm not consistent, so. Front blunt, I'm not really good at, unless it's a rail. So let's just try it. What about front nose blunt? No? Only rails. That was sick. That was, that was so good. You know what's sick about that one is like... It's so good because you're half heavy and then you just land in a pinch and then you're like, oh, I'm going. I'm and stuck. it looks really good, but then like a crook fakey is not the best looking trick. But if you do a half cab crook and then go to fakey, it's a really good looking trick. Like just, two and then go back? Yeah, Ooh. it's kind of like cool in that way that like just adding a little half cab adds so much. You know what, I'll try that. I have 20 seconds. Never thought about trying that. Really? Yeah, I'll try this, and then I got one more trick I want to try once the time runs out. For sure. That's like a really cool trick. That's sick. I, lo I love I love that trick. Uh, Counterintuitive because obviously you're turning into the grind one way, and then having the like control to turn back out the opposite way is kind of crazy. Yeah. But it's very first tee, baby. Let's go. It's unique. All right, so that was 30 minutes. There's one trick I want to try, which is switch back tail. I was trying them on the small box earlier and I was getting into them. So let's see how I do on this uh, big box here. I think you got it. I think yeah. I got it too. I just, uh, it's really slick, so I gotta be very careful. Back tails are hard enough to learn on their own. The switch is like a whole other level of like craziness in the brain and the body. So this will be my final trick for you guys right here. This will be added to the final score for whoever wins the rock. Danger! Alright, we got three more solid tries. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was the wrong trick. You know what? That felt cooler than the back tail. I'll try one more. And if I get close, maybe we'll just land it. But that was a switchback so you can add that to the score right there. I'm sorry, people watching. I have to land this. Oh, that was so close. It's looking good. It's... You know what? I gotta land it. I'm you not gonna it. feel right in my heart if I walk away from this one. I'm so you close. Got it right here. Let's try.
guys. That was me practicing for 30 minutes on Little Obstacle, then graduated to Big Obstacle. Had a lot of fun. Obviously, those last two lands were out of time, but you can still add those to the score if you're trying to win the Mystery Rock, the Crystal. Will it be Tiger's Eye? Will it be Amethyst? Will it be Carnelian? Will it be Jade? Will it be Smoky Quartz? Will it be Celestia? I don't know. Pyrite? I don't know. But you can win, so. Really hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. This is what I need as a skater, as an athlete that wants to improve himself. I like practicing. It is a, is a great honor for me to be able to do this for you guys to see how I practice sometimes. It's a little different that there's a camera here. Usually I would have like AirPods or like some like really good jams going. But this is pretty much it. This is how I train. And uh, this is only one obstacle, I guess two if you count manual and ledges as separate entities of tricks, categories, I guess, whatever. But we still got mini ramp, rail, banks. We got stairs, handrails, there's the hip. There's so many freaking things you can skate, and uh, this is this is one of them. We hope you enjoy that. So, I mean, if you guys like this type of video, let us know in the comments below, please. You want to see Glow practice on something, maybe the hip. Mowgli practice on the bump to bar. 30 minutes in the park with the team. You want to see me try something else? Let me know. This is a lot of fun, and we, we love this. But we hope you guys love that, too. There's videos right over there. Check them out. Subscribe, like. Leave it in the comments below. And we want you guys to learn how to skate, so you can skate with me in the wild someday, maybe. See me on the side of the road, say what up. And uh, go to bellskateboard.com for everything you need. See ya.